All right, y'all, I'm back with another one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Please hit that notification bell if you like seeing my content. So what I want to touch on this morning is felony crimes. We're talking to our melanated men out there, our males, brothers. Whatever you do in life, please try not to get a felony on your jacket. Because once you get a felony on your jacket, your life is going to be hard. It's going to become very, very hard for you to maneuver in this world. You may not be able to vote. You may not be able to find a, great, a good job. You may have, may have to do this. You may not do that. There's a lot of things you can't do when you get that felony on your jacket. So please, brothers, I'm begging you. Don't get that on your jacket, man. Because it will mess your whole life around. Yes. And another thing. God didn't make us to be animals, man. We need to stay out of these jails and prisons, man. That's not why God made us. He put us here for a purpose. He didn't put us here to be housed in a cage like an animal. No. God put us on this earth for a purpose. Each and every one of us out there have a purpose in life. We wasn't put here just to be in this world, aimlessly walking around doing nothing. We all have a purpose to do before we leave this earth. That's the reason God put us here. But what I'm saying about the felony, man, that's a bad one to get on your jacket, man. Because I said before, it'll mess your whole life around, man. You don't want that. Life is already hard by itself. So why make it harder for yourself? You know, live a normal life. Do the right things out here. You don't have to go out here and com commit crimes. Do what's right. And you'll see that you'll live a better life. Because I know a lot of guys with felonies, man. And their lives are in shambles. You know, that's why I wish they would, you know, start opening up some type of programs to help these guys. You know, like the guys coming from prison with felonies on their back. They need some type of programs to help them to get jobs where they can work at. Because most of these jobs, if you tell them you got a felony on, on your application, sometimes they'll give you the job. But a little while down the road, when they pop up on your application, you're out of there. Then you're wondering why you got fired. Because they seen that felony on your record. They do background checks on you and everything, man. Drug tests. But yeah, man, that's a bad stain to get on your jacket, man. That's a stain that won't come out. So please, brothers, don't get that stain on your jacket. Because no matter what kind of chemical you use, that stain will not come out. But yeah, uh, I've seen a lot of things, man, in life. And I've seen a lot of fellas go through a lot of hard times, man. But mm -hmm. this is this is one thing we don't want, man. We don't want this one. It's a real stain, man. Like I said, 
I don't care how much bleach you use. I don't care how much ammonia you use. I don't care how much Ajax you use, how much cleanser you use. This is one stain that will not come out. That felony on your back will not come out. So please, brothers, listen to what I'm saying. Take it in and listen, please. This is for the young brothers out there. If you're living a good life, continue to keep living a good life. And don't get caught up out there in those streets and wind up with that stain on your back, that felony stain. Because once you get it, you can't take it back. So if y'all like this content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell. Because I'm coming back with more content. So stay tuned, y'all. See you later.